first example here is 120 degrees. We want to convert that to radians, identify its quadrant, and find its cosine and sine. So first things first, let's convert it to radians. 120 times pi over 180 is 2 pi over 3, because 120 over 180 is 2 thirds. So that's 2 pi over 3 radians. Identify its quadrant, well, Let me graph out my unit circle here. Uh, there's 0, there's pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then 2 pi. Now 2 pi over 3 is between pi over 2 and pi. In fact, it's, it's closer to pi over 2. It's, it's 2 thirds of the way around from 0 to pi. Uh, if you like that in terms of degrees, pi is 180 degrees. And so 2 pi over 3 is 2 thirds of the way over to 180. Now we've got to find its cosine and sine. And let me show you how to do this. You draw a triangle here. Remember, we're looking for the x and y coordinates. We draw a triangle here, and that's a 30-60 triangle, because this is 60. That was a little small there. Let me draw it externally. That's a 60 degree angle. That's a 30 degree angle. And so we know what the lengths of these different sides are. We know that the long side there is root 3 over 2. And the short side there is 1 half. So we know, remember, the cosine and sine are the x and y coordinates. So the cosine of 120, or 2 pi over 3, is 1 half, except that we're going to have to check whether that's positive or negative. Um, so remember, all students take calculus. In the second quadrant, only the sine is positive, so the cosine must be negative. The sine of 2 pi over 3, the y value is root 3 over 2. In the second quadrant, sines are positive, so that's positive. So our cosine and sine are negative 1 half and root 3 over 2. If you didn't remember the all students take calculus thing, you can also just work it out once you know what quadrant it's in. It's in quadrant 2. And we know there that the x-coordinates are negative and the y-coordinates are positive. So the cosine must be negative and the sine must be positive. So again, the whole point of this is that you only really need to memorize the values in, of the triangles root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, and 1 half. Once you know those basic triangles, you can work out what the sines are and cosines are in any different quadrant just by drawing in those triangles and then figuring out which ones have to be positive and which ones have to be negative. Let's try another.